Okay, last time we uh, installed the heat duct uh, between the rear uh, seats and uh, we did a reinforcement there for the uh, seat belt attach points for the rear occupants. Uh, this time we're going to continue by doing the same reinforcement here in the front seat then also working on the shoulder support uh, and uh, the area that holds the headrests uh, here on the top of the seat back. Okay, so I'm going to be talking a bit over this video because it's not always clear what I'm doing. Um, this is a bit of a non-linear video and um, I ended up working on two chapters simultaneously uh, during its making. Uh, this is just kind of how life was working out and uh, what I had time for and what I could intersperse with stuff that was happening. Here you can see me finishing up uh, just shaping uh, that shoulder brace piece and fitting it correctly. I've created two holes inside of it and those holes need to be matched through that seat back as you can see me cutting there right now. Uh, those holes are for push rods uh, that can be installed to help latch the canopy and to actuate that from the front seat uh, any latching hardware that would need to be in the rear seats. I've yet to decide whether it's going to be a front hinge or a side hinge canopy so I just went ahead and made the holes on both sides it doesn't really make much of a difference uh, but I thought it would be good to have those. Uh, here you can see me proceeding then with uh, installing the glass to uh, install the rest of that shoulder brace. Did, uh, according to the plans and uh, what I ended up doing here was doing half the layup uh, and then letting that set up uh, there in that jig while I went ahead and did the sanding. And then I came back several hours later. Uh, which you will see here happen in an instant uh, and apply the rest of the epoxy to the exposed glass there uh, which is at this point wet while the rest is half set and then I could go ahead and install and peel ply uh, those overlapping layers there uh, which basically results in that shoulder brace now being installed and just needing some glass over top of it uh, the next thing I'm going to be working on here is uh, just sanding that down and then uh, those hard points that you can see there, they are wood and uh, they need many layers of glass on top of them for uh, reinforcement and uh, to bring them flush with the, the top of that seat brace, shoulder brace let's call. Um, so yeah, I, I laid out some glass for that and we'll be doing that lay up in a bit. But here I'm proceeding to do the reinforcement for the center front seat um, harness attachment points, uh, the seat belt harness. Uh, those need to be reinforced as I mentioned at the end of the previous video. So here I was just doing that layup, uh, which also came out pretty well. Much better than the previous one I would say. Uh, work-wise, although it really did a job on my back to spend more than an hour <laughs> crouching the way you see me doing there. So here I am doing that layup I just mentioned a few moments ago where I was just uh, reinforcing those hard points with many many layers of uh, glass stacked on top of each other. Uh, those get peel plied and after that I go in and I sand those flush with uh, the top of that shoulder brace and I think then I just end up rounding the forward edge of that brace so that I can come back later uh, with the glass and the glass will conform to it nicely and make a nice round cut. some glass cutting there for uh, for that layup that will eventually happen but not in this video here I'm cutting some unidirectional glass for the straps that will once again 
reinforce those uh, seat belt attachment points at the top moreover. Here I'm just uh, sanding the surfaces on the inside of the fuselage where the outside of the seat belt br um, brackets will go. Uh, they need to be floxed and glassed in there and of course we need a nice rough surface to be able for those to adhere properly. Once again lots of glass cutting that happened uh, this time and uh, most of that is for layups that will still be coming up in future videos as I said we did some parallel work here and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be going over to uh, the next chapter in a couple of moments uh, which was chapter 10 this isn't quite the next chapter chronologically but uh, it is a future chapter and I started in preparatory work for it uh, which uh, f at this point was just cutting a whole bunch of templates um, that will be used for making the canard, uh, which is the front wing of the airplane. Um, this is work that requires a lot of precision. These templates need to be very precise and the shapes need to be correct uh, because these are flying surfaces. And um, I ended up uh, going back and remaking a couple of them uh, a couple of times uh, just to be sure I got the shapes exactly correct. The plywood I was using wasn't the best, uh, it was quite cheap stuff and um, it ended up flaking on me or breaking and uh, or tearing out when I was cutting it and uh, it was more tricky to work with than I thought it would need to be but in order to get the shapes correct I, uh, I did it as, as carefully and as uh, many times as necessary to get the shapes exactly correct so that's pretty much what you're going to see me doing for the rest of the video a youtuber should probably never say this but uh, this is as exciting as this video is going to get folks i'm going to be making templates pretty much for the rest of the video and uh, just enjoy the show but before we uh, get ahead of ourselves uh, just a reminder that uh, we're coming up on us having a child pretty soon. Uh, depending on how things work out, this could be my last video for quite a while. I'm not sure I'll be able to get a lot more content done before the happy day. So, um, with apologies, uh, I would not recommend you holding your breath for the next video. If one does come out, let's be happy about it. But uh, it might not. We will see at, uh, at what point we, uh, we see the next video on this channel. And uh, yeah, just stay subscribed. And uh, hopefully soon another video will be on its way. Maybe months from now, maybe a year from now, maybe more. Who knows? Uh, but thanks for sticking around with me so far. I'm still as committed as always to building this plane um, I've really enjoyed this process and I have absolutely no uh, intention of uh, stopping completely ever not unless I stop breathing
behind. <laughs> Could set you free, 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 free. Show you what this world can really be. Here with me, I could set you free, free. Could set you free, free. 